Welcome friends, I have arrived in Old Salem, North Carolina, which is located inside of Winston-Salem in Forsyth County. So Old Salem was actually settled by the Moravian community way back in 1753. And the small city features a living history museum, which is operated by a nonprofit and uh, they interpret the restored Moravian community and they began all of this back in 1950 but there were some private residents that began restoring buildings earlier. My main reason for coming to Old Salem today is to visit the cemetery and I'm specifically looking for the grave of R.J. Reynolds. His name was actually Richard Joshua Reynolds born July 20th, 1850, and died July 29th, 1918. And he was a businessman, and he actually founded R.J. Reynolds Tobacco Company. His father was a tobacco farmer, and I guess that's where he learned everything. Back in 1874, R.J. Reynolds sold his share of the family business, and he moved south to Winston, which is now Winston-Salem, to start his own tobacco company. Reynolds was a savvy businessman and a hard worker. He quickly became one of the wealthiest citizens of Winston-Salem. Eventually, he was the wealthiest person in the state of North Carolina, and he later died in 1918 of pancreatic cancer. Back here is the site of the Davy House, which if you go online and read about it, it sounds like some bad stuff happened back here. This was uh, involving slavery, which uh, the slaves belonged to a Dr. Vireling, which was the town's physician. Here we have the uh, doctor's house built in 1802 and they say people from hundreds of miles away would actually come here to visit the doctor's house. I've made it down to the cemetery part of Old Salem and my goal is to find the grave of Mr. R. J. Reynolds. This place is absolutely beautiful. Pretty hot sunny day out here. Found a little spot walking through the shade. Although some of these graves are as recent as 2005. You'll see some date back to the 70s, 80s, 1942, and much further back than that. You never know what you'll come across out here. Things like this. No clue what that signifies, but to someone somewhere, I'm sure this means something special. Very peaceful out here, as it should be. There's a large variety of headstones or tombstones out here. Some are just as small as this, and then you have these really large ones. And 
And then you have things like that back there. I guess if you've got the money, you can get your plot however you like it. I find these white tombstones really interesting. I came across this, which is part of the Reynolds family. I'm not sure what the relation is. William Neal Reynolds and this one right here that's really hard to read. Looks like it says Kate Reynolds, Kate Bidding Reynolds. And then there's a John Neal over here. But Still looking for Mr. RJR. Came across another one of these, mother and father. Found some more of the Reynolds family. Looks like this is the Haynes family, which are also a big name in the Winston-Salem area. Some of these people were born back in the 1800s. So finally, after walking around for a while, I came across what I was looking for. It's the RJR Memorial right here behind me. And, uh, pretty interesting. So here it is, Richard Joshua Reynolds, July the 20th, 1850, and he died July the 29th, 1918. And this is just different Parts of the Reynolds family died in 1964, 1985. Interesting fact is uh, RJR's wife was actually 30 years younger than him, but she died only six years later. Right across from RJR's grave, we have found Casper.
And looking back, this is where I just was. Just look at the amazing view behind me. I'm up kind of on a hill and this is all down below. Even though it feels and sort of looks like you're surrounded just by trees out in the country, we're actually just a very short walk from downtown Winston-Salem, just around the corner. Pretty high up now. We do not want to fall down this hillside. Let's see what's back here. The cool thing about this cemetery is there's all these little hidden turns and just little nooks and crannies. You never know what you're going to find just around the corner. There are literally thousands of graves out here. And they come in every shape and size, even down to these tiny little markers right here. Walked around to the other side now, still up on the hill, but look at these really neat things right here. See that right there? Just fell from this tree right above my head. I could have ended up in this cemetery, like in the ground. Finally down on the lower level now. That's where I was earlier. And now we can get a much better look at these, I'm not sure what you would call these. My first instinct is to call it a mausoleum. So maybe I'm right, maybe I'm not. Feel free to leave me a comment to correct me if I am wrong. Now, speaking of mausoleums, I'm pretty confident that this is actually a real mausoleum. Another interesting fact, if you notice the white colored stone, I guess this would be granite or, I don't know if it's marble, I think it is granite. Not too far from Winston-Salem in the Mount Airy, North Carolina area is uh, a very large white granite open pit. I believe it's the largest of its kind anywhere possibly in the world or at least North America. It can even be seen from outer space. And I think a lot of this stone came from there. In fact, all of that white stone that you see up in Washington, D.C. at all of the monuments and memorials a lot of it came from Mount Airy. And you'll also know Mount Airy as being the town that Mayberry is based on in the Andy Griffith Show. Mount Airy is probably about 45 minutes from here.
Where'd you go, little fella? He is gone. Finally made it out of the cemetery and back into Old Salem and wanted to show you Salem College. Salem College is a private liberal arts women's college founded in 1772 as a primary school. It later became an academy and ultimately the college that we know today. Found this old water pump, square cistern pump of 1780. And I do believe it actually works. Look at that. So that concludes my trip to Old Salem. Really, uh, today I was focused on the cemetery, but there's a lot more to this place. So we'll save that for another time, another day. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe and like. Thanks, guys.